Hello and welcome back to another RPG Architect tutorial. Today we're going to go over doodads, and so with that said, let's get started. Alright, so here we are in the sample project, and in order to add a doodad to the map, all you got to do is click on this rock here, or you can press Control 3 and then over here we have the doodads to add. You can see that these are ones that are added already in the engine, and also you can see that there is a list right here that are categories of these. So if you click on trees, it will only bring up trees for you to use, or decor, or uh, decor right here you have some different things to use right here and so this is really nice that you can actually categorize them so now how do we add our own custom one all right so first thing we got to do is press f8 and if you're not already on the doodads just go to map doodads here and you can see that there are here's the ones that are added so when you go to add one we'll just go to this blank one here and on this one we're going to name it a palm tree And the category here is where we can get it specified into this category. So if I go to tree here, I see that there's a category called trees. I'll just copy paste that and put add this one to the category. Matter of fact, it even pops up as you start to talk. All right, so the next thing to do is to come down here and select the appearance. So I'm going to choose Sprite. The 3D model support, I don't think it's in yet in early access. You might ask the developer in Discord when or if that's in yet, but I do know Sprites work. So now I'm going to come down to the Sprite and choose the Sprite. And there are some sprites that come with the engine, just so you know, from Final Boss Blues. And I'm going to go down here to start to select this. Now, let's see here. Frame count is one. So we'll just go like this. And I have to kind of gauge what this is going to be. I think it's going to be 96 or something like this. 96. And then what I do is I kind of set the height. I'm using the arrows to go up or down. And then I'll go like this. And yeah, that looks like it's high enough. Now I'm going to go wide. I believe it will be, um, let's go 70, 76. And I'm going to click right here again. So now I just need to move it a little bit over. So I'm going to just click on this a few times and move it over just like that. Now the height, I'm actually going to increase because I want the, the bottom to be as close to the bottom of the image as possible. So yeah, something like that. And if it cuts it off, I can just come back in and, and redo it. So that looks good right there. Now we have the shape type. We're going to go through all of these here in a minute, but I'm going to leave billboard first. This is going to always follow the camera. So it's going to rotate the sprite around as you move. And so now I need to do this again for the visual. And so we'll go like this and I should probably use the same. So it was 96 and then it was 76 and I'll click on this right here. Oh, but it's one frame. Then I'll click on this and I moved it over. I moved it up and I moved it over like that. All right. So click OK. So now the visual and this you can pick a custom collider if you want. And then you can also pick um, any rotation that you want, the automatic, any scale, translation. Translation is position. So if you want to offset based off its position, which might be useful. And so now that we have this set up here, we can actually go and place them on the map. If I click on the palm tree here, I can now click on the map and lay down a palm tree. All right. So let's just lay down a couple here just so we can see what it looks like. And we can play test this. And you can see there's our palm tree. Now I need to remember how to, there we go. So you can see that the billboard is turning the palm trees around as I'm moving around. All right. So now let's see what the other options are. And by the way, I'm pressing E and Q in this sample project to do this. And so now we're going to go back to the database and we're going to select the flat X plane. So if we select this, you can kind of just imagine it's going to stay on the X plane, which in this particular case, it's going to stay facing us when we're looking at it this way. So now as I zoom the camera out, you can see that it's going to stay flat on this X plane. So you can guess what the Z plane is. The Z plane is going to be this way. Matter of fact, we can just test that out so you can get a nice visual of it. Because in 3D space, we got to remember that X and Y are going this way and this way. And then, um, or sorry, X is going this way, Z is going this way, and then Y is going up. All right. So now we can see that this is exactly what Z should be. So now if we go to do the cardinal cross, this is going to be nice because it's going to make them flat, but it's going to have an X and a Y as it's flat. 
So you can see that you kind of get this nice little 3D effect of the doodad. And then the last thing that we can show is the cardinal cross, which this is going to take in diagonals as well. It's going to add two more that are diagonal, and you're going to get this like 3D looking, it's actually eight sprites. Whoops, there's the mountain there. Yeah, it's eight sprites of this, and they are crossed up vertically or diagonally as well as the X and Ys. Yeah, you can get a nice little 3D effect there. All right, so the next thing to kind of go over is how do you edit them once they're on the map? And so you can right click on them when you get here and you can say uh, snap to grid first off and it will snap to grid. This is a nice option for when you want it to be perfectly aligned in a grid. For instance, we can come to this tree here, you can say, oh, I want it more snapped here. So snap it to the grid and boom, it snaps to that grid. So that's really nice. The next thing that you can do is you can come over here and we can just go to, well, one delete. And then we can also edit it. And this one, we can edit the position here. So if we just move it over a couple of pixels, you can see that it moved it over quite a bit. Not sure where it went actually. I didn't think I moved it that far. Huh. Um, not sure where that one went. Let's see here. So if I go to palm tree, edit, or maybe it's on top of this one actually. <laughs> Let's move it over one. Okay, so that's what happened. It it moved it on top of that. That that's pretty funny. Um, so now let's uh move this one over just a hair. Yeah, like that. Okay, so now we can um edit the we can override the rotation so we can rotate it, override the scale, and override all the things. So this is the stuff that you would set up in in the editor as well. But this one you can override them so each one could be specific and unique if you want it. And then the last thing we can do the snap to current layer. If if I'm understanding it right is it will snap to the, um, the position on the ground. Um, it, that, that, again, that's if I'm understanding that right. Then the last thing we can do is just delete it. So we can just delete it. Anyway, I hope that this helps you understand doodads. If there's any questions, comments below or the Discord, the devs are really helpful. And so with that said, I'll see you at the next video.